Hello, everyone. My name is Frank Astry, and I am delighted to welcome you to our inspiring video series. Through these heartfelt messages, I hope to touch the lives of my children, grandchildren, and all my relatives in Florida, while also reaching out to a wider audience seeking positivity for me to express myself and share insights that I've gathered throughout my life's journey. They are a legacy I wish to leave behind for my family, connecting us across time and distance. My primary intention is to inspire and uplift, to brighten people's days in any way I can. Life can be challenging, but together, we can find strength and encouragement through the power of peace videos. You'll find a treasure trove of powerful affirmations, enlightening awareness checks, and insightful discussions. Each episode is crafted with the aim of fostering personal growth and creating a community dedicated to positive change. So, let's embark on this adventure together. Whether you're a family member or a new friend from afar, I invite you to join me in this pursuit of light and wisdom. As we navigate life's ups and downs, may these videos serve as a guiding beacon, illuminating the path to happiness and fulfillment. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for being a part of this journey. Together, we can inspire and uplift, leaving a lasting impact on the lives we touch. I want to be transparent with you, I'm not trying to pull a fast one here. My genuine intention is to make sure that my words, my ideas, and my message reach you without any barriers. I have dyslexia, which has led to speech impairment. Pronouncing words correctly has been a real challenge for me, and I sometimes hear words differently from how they are actually spoken. But hey, that hasn't stopped me. You know, this artificial voice has become my trusted ally. It allows me to express myself confidently and share my passions with you all. It's a tool that empowers me, and I hope it can inspire you too. Let's begin this journey. After all, every journey has to start somewhere, right? As you're well aware, there are certain aspects of life that are uniquely yours, and nobody else can dictate them, such as your goals. Will encompass attitude, thoughts, feelings, awareness, desires, values, principles, wellness, training, education, communication skills, problem-solving abilities, and risk-taking. Let's delve into these areas and explore how each one can be nurtured and harnessed to lead you towards personal growth and fulfillment. Today, our focus will be on four key aspects, attitude, thoughts, feelings, and awareness. First and foremost, let me address the common notion of promoting a positive attitude and positive thinking. It is true that we often hear about the power of positive thoughts, yet despite this emphasis, we still find ourselves facing various challenges in life. What I want to highlight is that positive thinking, which is commonly advocated, does hold some power, but it is not the ultimate solution to everything. Our thoughts possess a degree of influence, but they are not almighty. In reality, our existence involves more than just thoughts. Consider this, you cannot operate your computer solely through your thoughts. To read this text on your screen, you need to take physical action, moving the mouse, clicking on links, or typing on the keyboard. Similarly, to access a web page, you cannot merely think about it, you have to interact with your computer physically. Think about drinking a glass of water, you cannot quench your thirst by merely thinking about it, you need to use your physical body to lift the glass and drink. Even dialing a number on your cell phone requires physical interaction, you cannot do it solely through your thoughts. The point here is not to undermine the power of thoughts, they do possess significant influence. However, we must recognize that our physical actions and capabilities are equally potent, instead of solely fixating on positive thoughts. I propose that we shift our focus toward the positive aspects of our lives. It's essential to appreciate and utilize both the power of our thoughts and the strength of our physical abilities to lead a fulfilling life. Without a target, what is an archer? One must take action. Words are not as significant as actions. However, mere movement has no purpose. One ought to have a goal. Setting short-term goals enables us to identify and fully experience each stage of life. We gain perspective and continuity from long-term objectives. 
short-term objectives give us a way to take advantage of life's temporality while also assisting us in understanding it. Long-term objectives help us to focus on the experiences we imitate. Our objectives should be wholly personal. Nobody understands us more intimately than we do. A graceful dying without regrets is the sole objective that unites all people. We're going to talk about the importance of setting goals and knowing what stuff you want in life, whether it's things you desire or things you're already holding on to and want to keep. Think of goals as the stuff you want to achieve, possess, or change in your life. It could be big dreams, like landing your dream job or starting your own business, or it could be smaller things, like learning a new skill or spending more time with loved ones. These are your goals, your stuff. Just like a treasure map leads you to the hidden stuff you're searching for, setting clear goals helps guide you towards what you truly want. Without knowing your goals, it's like wandering without a map, unsure of where you're headed. But when you have clear goals, it gives you focus and direction. You can make plans and take action to reach those goals, to attain the stuff you desire. It's like having a roadmap to follow that leads you closer to your dreams. As you go through life, your goals might change. Some stuff you once wanted may not matter as much anymore, and new stuff might become more important. That's completely normal and a part of growing and evolving. Take some time to reflect on the stuff you want in your life, whether it's possessions, achievements, personal growth, or anything else that brings you happiness and fulfillment. Once you know your goals, you can start taking steps towards making that stuff a reality. Remember, your goals are unique to you. Don't compare your stuff to other stuff. Embrace your individual journey, and celebrate each step you take towards the stuff that matters most to you. So, let's get excited about our goals, about the stuff we want to have, achieve, or cherish in our lives. With determination and perseverance, we can make all that stuff happen. Which of these patterns do you practice? What results do you achieve? Moving off your position can become one of your more powerful awareness strategies particularly when it is combined with listening. If you instead paused, said tell me more, and listened, such receptivity to feedback might then successfully reveal. Where might you be coming to premature closure? Where might you be unwilling to move off your position? Where might you benefit by consciously practicing the awareness strategies? Our first awareness check. What is the worst thing that could happen if I work on my stuff? What is the best thing that could happen if I worked on my stuff? What if I didn't work on my stuff? What do I gain or lose by continuing to sleepwalk? Take it you're having trouble thinking of stuff to work with, here's a few to think about. Feel free to pause the video anytime. Or remember this is only suggestions you have to make your own goals. Only you and you alone you decide what's important for you.
Now it's time for affirmations or self-talk sit back and just imagine your best friend talking to you allow these words to soak and allow these words to soak and come here often to refresh. These are the programs you choose to have about your self-esteem. You like yourself, you choose to like who you are. You feel good about yourself. You like the way you think you like the things you do, you like the way you live your life. You have self-confidence you know yourself and you are proud of the person you have chosen to be. An accurate description of you would include the words. Wonderful unique. Well liked positive. Self-directed happy and incredible because you choose to like yourself. Other people like you do you care about yourself and you care about them too. You are a quality person. You are worthwhile. You deserve to live at your best and to receive the best from the life you live. You are attractive and because you're attractive, you attract the best in everything around you. People really enjoy your company. They like the way you think they like the way you express yourself. And they like the person you are, you really deserve good things in your life. Each morning you wake up feeling good about yourself. You are happy with the way you see yourself each day. You are proud of the job you are doing, making your life count today especially you have a lot to feel good about you recognize the potential that is within you and you have made the choice to live it out. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you see someone who has high self-esteem how you feel about yourself is very important to you. So you make sure that you always find, recognize and acknowledge the best. You know that you write the script and the creation of your own self. You alone are in charge of who you are. It is true that you are a unique special and the quality individual, you were born that way. And it's the natural way for you to be, you are a person who does many things right? You have truth, understanding creativity, talents and skills within you and you see evidence of each of them in the way you live your life each day. When people look at you, they see a person with a good healthy positive strong self-esteem. That's because that's the way you are. You really like yourself. You like yourself every every minute of every day, you like yourself right now. And you are proud of who you are. You know that self-esteem is the picture of you that you hold of yourself in your mind. You recognize that self-esteem is built word by word thought by thought and action by action. You know that the building of true lifelong self-esteem is always up to the individual and that means you and you believe that building your own self-esteem creating more of it is your responsibility. You enjoy taking responsibility for the way you feel about yourself building self-esteem makes you feel better about yourself, and it always makes your life better in every imaginable way. Your appreciation of others and of everything around you is a direct result of your appreciation for yourself. You believe in appreciating who you are. You know that you create your own self-esteem with every the thought you think about yourself and with every picture of you that you create in your mind, creating self-esteem is never difficult for you. Creating self-esteem is a positive habit and a way of life. You believe that positive self-esteem is essential to a life well lived. Living a good life starts with having strong self-esteem. You recognize that no one else can ever play any role in reducing your self-esteem or in taking it from you. You know that you alone are in country of who you are and what you believe about yourself. You understand that your self-esteem is made up of the programs of yourself that you carry in your mind. And you know that building the best of those programs is always up to you. You know that good self-esteem is never an accident. And you know that good self-esteem is always a matter of choice. You believe that the quality of life is always a reflection of the self-esteem that you create for yourself. The greater and more positive your self-esteem that greater and more positive is the quality of your life. You know that even the most negative programs of self-esteem you may have received in the past can be replaced with new programs of self-esteem that you choose for yourself. And because you understand this, you always choose the programs that are the best replacing old programs with new programs is fun and easy for you. You really like knowing that you can create the best possible picture of you in your mind. You like knowing it. And you like doing it. So you build strong self-esteem every day. You talk to yourself and in just the right way you choose to build self-esteem every day. You always do everything it takes to make sure that your self-esteem is strong, positive, and working for you in the best possible way. You never put yourself down, you always build yourself up. You have strong positive pride in who you are, you let other people know it and you let yourself know it. You stand tall you think sharp, you look good. You're in control of your life. And you like who you are. That's you. That's who you choose to be. You allow nothing to stand between you and your most positive self-esteem you were born to believe in yourself and you do you look for and find other people who recognize the value of their own self-worth by associating with others self-esteem is strong. Your self-esteem grows even stronger. You always find the best in yourself and you always find the best in others a. Uh, finding the best has become a habit to you and a natural way of life. When you awake, you make the conscious choice to feel good about yourself all day. You have learned to say the words of self-talk which tell you. 
I like myself. I'm glad to be me today is my day. When it comes to building strong self-esteem you take take action. You put yourself in charge of who you are and who you choose to be, and you go for it. You help other people build their self-esteem to it every opportunity you have by helping others build themselves, you build more self-esteem for yourself. You never pull others down to build yourself up. You take genuine pride in the accomplishments of others, and you are always ready to show it. You have learned to really like yourself and to care about who you are. You are a wonderful gifted beautiful human being. And you are always the first to let yourself know it. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, you always show yourself what goes right by finding the positive success in your life you always create more of it. Right now today and every day you give yourself the gift of the words which say, I love myself. I love the person I know I truly am. And I love the life I am living. Each time you hear these words and think think about their meaning and importance in your life. You discover even more of the wonderful person that you are. You like yourself. You're glad to be you. Those are the programs you choose to have about self-esteem. You are incredible. And you're creating great self-esteem.